Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today we're going to be mastering and reviewing the L86 light machine gun in Battlefield 4. This is one of the latest weapon additions in the game, although it is an old weapon in real life. It's a British weapon and was developed back in the 80s. It's very similar to the L85, same classification of weapon really, or same family of weapon. This is the light support weapon as opposed to the assault rifle variant. However, it does have a 30 round magazine, which makes it very similar to the L85 in game. In fact, if we compare the L85 and L86 Simthic stats side by side, you can see that the L86 has a slightly slower rate of fire at 700 rounds per minute. Uh, it has pretty much the same damage model, although the L86 has a further drop off than the L85, although its damage drop off starts a little bit earlier than the L85, which is interesting. Its reload speed is ever so slightly longer than the L85 with an extremely long reload if you use all of your bullets, which is four seconds, unfortunately. It has less recoil though than the L85, which is pretty cool. And that's actually a big deal overall. So you can potentially be a little bit more accurate with this weapon. The default aiming down sight accuracy with this weapon is not particularly great overall at 0.25. Most accurate assault rifles or even LMGs for that matter have a 0.2 aiming down sight accuracy if you're going for the more accurate weapons out there. But what I've done is put a heavy barrel and stubby grip on here to help improve my aiming downside accuracy as long as I'm not moving around. Now, as Battlefield 4 has matured, it's actually done a fairly decent job of weapon balance overall. I mean, I've still got my issues here and there, but uh, for the most part, they've done a good job at making higher rate of fire weapons less accurate and less usable at further ranges, and the slower rate of fire weapons more accurate and more usable at further ranges, but they simply don't have the damage output to be as effective in close quarters. So where does the L86 fall on this balance chart? Well, it's got a rate of fire of 700 rounds per minute, which is kind of middle of the road. And that's pretty much where its accuracy is as well. Although I will say at further ranges, it's not that impressively accurate. Also, it suffers pretty greatly if you don't have a heavy barrel and stubby grip on here. In fact, I find the gun practically unusable unless I'm running it with this specific configuration. You don't really want to use this specific gun for anything other than trying to aim down sights and hit people because as a hip fire weapon, it's pretty garbage overall. It is a bullpup, so it does have better hip fire accuracy than other LMGs out there, but it's not something that you're going to want to rely on. The spray can get a little nutty if you're just holding down and full autoing on somebody, but as long as you're accurate with your first initial shots, you usually have the ability to drop your target, even if they're running around and moving. Although so if your target is running around dodging your shots, it's probably going to be one magazine per kill with this gun in most situations, as long as you're engaging at those medium range distances. Close quarters and in just special situations, of course, you can drop multiple people with one mag. It's just a lot less common. This is really the assault rifle of LMGs here, and it's not a particularly accurate one at that. I was kind of hoping that since it only has a 30 round magazine, it might be a slightly more accurate weapon. At least the base accuracy would be a little bit more accurate but I guess they kind of have their rules about the bullpup design weapons in the game and for some reason they're just supposed to be less accurate than the standard design weapons. Not really sure how this became a rule in Battlefield because bullpup weapons in theory shouldn't be any less accurate for any reason it's just a different placement of the barrel. In fact the recoil in theory should be easier to manage on a bullpup weapon than it would be on a standard rifle. And in real life this weapon is pretty damn accurate because the barrel is so damn long but Anyway, it's just the way it's been interpreted in Battlefield is something that I'm not crazy about. There's a lot of better alternatives to this weapon for the support class as it currently stands. If you're going to give a support weapon 30 rounds, it better be worth it. And the reload certainly doesn't help since I go through 30 rounds so frequently. Hitting a four second reload on this is just pretty hard to deal with. Now, when I compare the L86 to something like the ASW, which by all means is a less accurate weapon overall, but it has a hundred round magazine, it becomes way more useful because I don't have to start reloading after my first or second kill. I can just keep going and wasting people. Even though the accuracy isn't particularly great on that weapon, it takes on a whole new purpose just because of the massive magazine, whereas the L86 is pretty much in the same category as the ASW in the accuracy department. It's just just far less capable of dealing with multiple threats. Now, was it hard mastering this weapon? Not at all. In fact, it was quite easy. I played a combination of Rush and Team Deathmatch, racked up a lot of kills very quickly. A fully automatic weapon with moderate accuracy shouldn't be hard to get kills no matter what game mode you're on. Even with moderate skill, this gun isn't going to be necessarily difficult to use. In fact, it's one of the easier to use LMGs out there. It's just ultimately not
not that capable of a weapon when you really start to refine your gameplay. Now you'll notice I was using the EOTech for quite a while with this gun and that's mostly because it took a long time to actually unlock the Cobra sight or the Coyote sight with this gun for me. So I was just using the EOTech. It's actually a fairly decent sight and once I finally got the gun fully ranked up I started using the Cobra sight. I like the Coyote also but uh, I'm still like I keep going back and forth. I think I might actually like the Cobra sight more. I don't know. It's uh it's kind of a toss up on whatever your personal preference is. As for kitting out your support class I love running with an ammo box and C4. It's sort of a good all around way to run the support class unless you're going for a very specific setup. And there we go get the mastery dog tag. It really didn't take that long overall. Again TDM rush you should rack up those kills no problem. Especially if you're not playing in the front lines all the time sort of playing with your squad mates giving them ammo supplying ranking up that way. If you know your class really isn't designed to be a frontline pusher all the time then play mid range and when you're not the center of attention you can actually get a lot of assists and a lot of assist kills where you're not necessarily de dealing out most of the damage but you might be following up the damage. And thinking back to the good old days of Bad Company 2, the support class actually had the defibs and med bags, which made a lot more sense because as a support class you could hang back a little bit more, play the mid range, and let the assault class push up with their grenade launchers and ammo boxes. And then if one of them went down, you could rush in and revive. But who knows, maybe we'll see a switch up in the next version of Battlefield. And even though I'm not crazy about the L86A2, it's not to say it's a terrible weapon overall, and it could be your favorite weapon, and that is totally fine. As you can see, I am more than capable of doing well with this gun, and you should be too. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap signing off.